post-game interview of Game 2 of the NBA Finals, Eric Spolster completely undressed Ramona Shelbourne. I mean, he completely undressed her verbally in front of all her peers and in front of all the world to see. Now, it didn't, it didn't help her case that she's a woman, even though women have came a long way in male sports and sports in general, being able to interview NBA players in the locker room, have dressed, as well as give their opinion on the actual set as commentary. Now, this is a game where Eric Spolster and the Miami Heat actually won. But that's how uncomfortable Nikola Jokic makes opposing teams. They know they can't celebrate. They can't pop any bottles of champagne because that very next game, he's coming after you. Now, I'm going to play you this clip where Eric Spolster completely annihilates Ramona Shelbourne. This is probably oversimplifying things, but sometimes when, when teams play against Jokic, you, you turn him into a scorer, you turn him into a passer, and he controls the game. You, he only had four assists tonight. Yeah, that, that, that's a ridiculous, you know, it's just, that's the untrained eye that, that says something like that. This guy's an incredible player. You know, twice in two seasons, he's been the best player on this planet. You can't just say, oh, make him a score. <laughs> that's not how they play. They, they have so many different actions that just get you compromised. Uh, we have to focus on what we do. Um, you know, we try to do things the hard way. Um, and he requires you to do many things the hard way. Um, and we, he has our full respect. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Coach. Now listen, in fairness to Ramona, she said it's probably oversimplifying things. Then why do it? In a society where everything is overly simplified, all these catchy headlines are to make you feel even overly happy or overly sad one way or another. The man said that she's untrained. She's been on ESPN and had a journalistic career, I believe, spanning 15, 20 years uh, professionally. This was a setback for women in general. Now, I got to put a lot of the blame on Ramona for not being able to read a room. Everybody is not on the Nikola Jokic high praise bandwagon. He's the opposing coach. And even in the loss, you want to just big up Nikola Jokic all day. He's not with it. The man is trying to win a basketball series, a championship at that. If Nikola Jokic would have got bounced out of the playoffs in the first round, I'm just happy that he made it to the NBA Finals because they were doing way too much with the high praise. The man said at the conclusion of the interview, he's a great player and he demands their, their every bit of respect and he has their respect. But Ramona Shelbourne, like I just said, you, you got to be able to read a room.